Now for the lesson of the day. And I'm telling you, the information I'm about to give you, it is required if you will ever make a million USD or more. And you will never accomplish that without it. You have to have this in order to do it. I do not know of a situation that anyone has ever climbed to the, those kind of heights without it. All right. So here, it, and it is fondly known as the 90-day race. The 90-day race. The 90-day race says that you can achieve more success in 90 days of focused, singular, all-out focus and effort, you can achieve more in 90 days than years, years of grinding it out slowly. That's the difference. I know people who've been trying to build businesses for 30 years. And I saw people do a 90-day race and get further in 90 days than these people who have been doing a little bit for 30 years, they were further and past them. That's the power of 90 days. And still, entrepreneurs the world over do not understand the principle, the natural God-given principle of 90 days. So I'm going to teach you how to apply that to business. But first, you must be convinced. You must be convinced of why 90 days. Why 90 days? And, and the answer uh, first is because that is God's model. God created the seasons to last approximately 90 days. Winter is about three months. Spring is about three months. Summer is about three months. Fall and harvest is about three months. Even the seasons of life, God has arranged the seasons of nature to be in 90 day, roughly 90 day increments. The known world operates all of its business on 90 days, on the principle of 90 days, on what we call business quarters. We'll say, what quarter is it? Are we in Q1, Q2, Q3? Q4, most sales plans in all of North America and Europe are tied to quarters. All of the stock markets in the world, all of the publicly traded markets in the world are tied to quarters, whether US or China. They're tied to business quarters, which all happen to be 90 days. Every military in the world has the equivalent of what we would call a boot camp. Those boot camps, generally speaking, are roughly 90 days. Which is amazing because take, for example, the United States military, where we take the we take 18-year-old individuals that are perhaps weak, uh, physically not maybe the smartest, and uh, did not have much going for them in life, and turn them into the, some of the most fierce fighting machines on the planet. And ladies and gentlemen, we do it in 90 days. If you have a goal that is insurmountable, that is massive, that is huge, that seems like it should take years to accomplish it, then it might be right for the 90-day race. Most people, their 90-day race, it's not big enough to do a race over. I can tell you that in 1999, I did, I did a 90-day race 
excuse me, 1998, I did a 90 day race and it set me up to, to end up making several million dollars in real estate 18 months from then. In 2000, uh, 2004, I did a 90 day race, became a senior, uh, became an executive at a, at a multi-billion dollar publicly traded company. I then did a 90 day race once I was in there and became a senior executive and ended up having nearly 1500 employees under my direction. I did a 90 day race in 2005 uh, for my physical health and ended up losing about 75 pounds, 90 days. I ended up doing a 90 day race in 2007 and became the CEO of a company. I did the 90 day race on several other occasions and it grew companies tremendously. In 2010, I did a 90 day race for a company that uh, for a 30, a 29 year old manufacturing company that at one point had been over 400 million, excuse me, 250 million a year, 425,000 distributors. And they had been declining month over month, month after month for 15 straight years. I came in as CEO, did a 90 day race. They had their first growth month in 15 years. In 2012, I did a 90 day race uh, to be uh, for the Senate and lost that race by 33 votes, really on a technicality because they couldn't get something off the ballot. I did a 90 day race in 2014 and became the CEO of the hoverboard company, the hottest consumer product in the world of 2015. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, if you want to be number one or number two in the world at what you do, if you want to achieve greatness, whether it's as an Olympic athlete, in sports, in health, in finances, in business growth, in your cause, whatever it is, it requires, if it is a massive goal, it requires the 90-day race to be successful. Why? Well, success likes speed. That's why. Success likes speed. It's the law of momentum. It's the law of focus. It is combining several laws of nature to create an asymmetric result and outcome. That is why. So I want to give you some principles on the 90 day race because it is the secret if there's a secret at all to success, this is the secret to massive results. I say that it requires singular focus. Most things that people would start to do a 90-day race does not require a 90-day race. But to build a business, a highly successful business, to become number one or number two in the world at what you do requires a 90-day race. So what is it? that you want to change? What is it that needs to be changed? It, you need to do the 90 day race. You can't just say, well, I wanna build my business. That's not specific enough. You will not, you cannot do a 90 day race just to build your business. You can do a, a, a 90 day race and say, I want to hit 100,000 USD in 90 days in sales. That's something that you can do. It has to be specific. You can't just say, I'm going to do a 90 day race and lose weight. No. How much are you going to lose? You can't just say, I want to get stronger. How much are you going to lift or how far are you going to run? How are you going to exercise? How many push-ups or pull-ups or chin-ups or whatever form of exercise you do? How many miles are you going to swim? What is it? You have to be specific. Maybe you want to qualify for a certain rank in your company or a certain promotion on your place of employment, your place of work. Whatever it is, you have to be specific. And you can't say, I want to lose this amount of weight and I want my business to be this and I want this in this area. No, 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 no. You have to do a different 90 day race for that. And you can't do a 90 day race back to back to back. 
The most you can do in a year is two because you have to have one to do the 90 day race one quarter and one quarter to rest and to uh, uh, manage all of the results and the outcomes that happen during your 90 day race. It is recipe for failure to do anything more than that. And it's, it, will, it will tear up your home, your marriage, your family. It's too stressful to do more. And two, you know, really is pushing it. It's, and you have to know how far you can lean. I remember when the uh, uh, government of Spain, the king of Spain, brought uh, over the top 20 startup companies in the world to the island of Menorca. And uh, I was there as an advisor to them. And uh, we were meeting at the house of the CEO of the largest Spanish clothier in the world. He had taken the company from less than 1 million USD to over $10 billion USD. Uh, it, uh, phenomenal. And we were at his 200 plus hectare resort on this island, okay? And, and a few of us, about four of us, were sitting on his patio. And we were talking about this because the, que and the question that uh, one of the men asked him was, how did you do that without losing your family? Because he'd been married for 30 some years and his wife was serving us beverages and so forth. And he said, how did you do this and keep your marriage? Because that's rare. And the entrepreneur that was asking him, he was the hottest entrepreneur in all of Europe. He was, his face was on the cover. Uh, he owned and had started the, 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 the most popular fintech company in all of Europe. He, their, his company was the golden child. But his home was falling apart and he had two little children. He said, how'd you do it? Because I'm, my business is amazing and my home is falling apart in my marriage. And I liked what, the, what this retired CEO told him. He said, you see the sailboat? You see my sailboat out there? He said, I love to sail. He said, my family loves to, my wife loves to sail. He said, I'm an aggressive, aggressive sailor. He said, I love whenever I'm out there on the Mediterranean Sea. And he said, I take those banks like this, and I love it. He said, but if my wife's on the sailboat, I can't turn quite as steep because it scares her, bothers me. He said, the key is knowing how far can you tilt your sailboat based on your family, your circumstances, the people in your life, things that matter. How far can you tilt and turn? How tight can you turn? and not have anybody fall overboard, not lose anything. And I will tell you that that is sound advice for the 90 day race, because you have to know the capacity of those that matter most in, that God's put in your life. I am blessed that my wife understands God's calling on my life. She does not feel like she's missing out on love if I'm up early or if I'm up late. In fact, she loves that she has a man that will work hard and that God has a call of God on his life. I also acknowledge that that's not, that everyone does not have that, that there's a spouse, whether it's the husband or the wife, where maybe they feel like the attention you give their business, your business, is attention they they are jealous of the attention your business gets and the truth is friend it's probably because you give your business more attention than you give them or they they are they're they're telling you they're starving their love bank is empty you're not speaking their love language uh, remember that disc you're not speaking theirs you're speaking yours and so anything you do seems like a competition and like it's taking away from them that's also why I have encouraged you to involve your family in your business. Include your family in it. 
because that's time spent together, time you can bond, time you can get closer. And it makes it ours, not yours. And that's very different. I can work longer if my wife's there with me, if we're doing it together, if I'm doing it for our future and because that's just what I'm supposed to do. See, all of these things matter. That's the difference between a kingdom entrepreneur and an entrepreneur. That's the difference. Uh, so you still do the 90 day race, but you need to know, you need to have a singular focus and it must be specific. And the two of the most critical concepts outside of the idea that success like speed is uh, between this is the critical few and the trivial many. What do you do for 90 days? What do you do? Well, I'll tell you. You focus on the critical few. You focus on the critical few. Whenever I first became a CEO of the company that uh, we turned around in 90 days, I pulled in the entire executive team, the chief marketing officer, the chief financial officer, the vice president of the company, uh, the, the chief operations officer, the COO. I pulled everybody in. And I drew on the, white, on, the, on the whiteboard. And on this side, I said critical few. And on this side, I wrote trivial many. And I said, okay, tell me what you all do all day, every day. And they started to tell me their job description. Well, I am in charge of ordering this and I oversee that. I said, that's not what you do every day. I want to know, what do you do? Well, when you first come in, you go to the coffee machine and you get some coffee. Then you go and say hi to 10 different people. Then you sit down. What do you do? Then you're listening to voicemail. Then what do you do? Then I'm calling people back. Then I'm going through my email and I'm responding to emails and I'm cleaning up, cleaning up my desk and I'm going to pick up this and I'm picking up that. And they start giving me all these things. And guess what they discovered? Every single one of those things that I just mentioned, not one of them, dear Roland College entrepreneur, not one of those things generated revenue. Our company was on fire. We had been declining in sales for 15 years. I don't care if you respond to the person on email or not. I don't care if your voicemail is full or not. What I care about is that we get revenue in sales to keep this company in business or come next month, you won't even have a desk to sit at. The critical few versus the trivial many. And let me tell you, the challenge of life is to define what is the trivial many in your life and what is the critical few. As it relates to the 90-day race, I can promise you there are only two or three things. Whatever you decided, this is the area I'm going to focus on. There's only going to be two or three things that are the critical few. You need to write those down. What are the two to three critical few for your 90-day race? When you do the 90-day race, what are the two to three critical few things? You can't focus on everything. You have to say, it doesn't matter if I don't call anybody back. It doesn't matter if this happens. What I have to do is this, and I have to do that, and that's it. If all I do is go to the market every day and have the product and go out and talk to the people and, and try to bring them in and things like that. If I do this, these one or two things, then it, I might not have a clean home. I might not have every single meal just perfect. I might not have my clothes all ironed and crisp and my shoes might not be as shiny as they normally are. But these are the two to three critical few things to achieve this mission. That's the critical few. Everything else, friend, everything else is the trivial many. And that's why when you focus on that with that level of intensity, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for 90 straight days, you can achieve whatever it is. See, I, I, can, I can get fit in 90 days. But if I eat an apple and work out every Saturday morning for 30 years, I will not be fit. I can do in 90 days what I cannot do in 30 years 
of small, consistent effort. Small, consistent effort can help maintain, but at some point, you have to do a 90-day race in order to break through. You will have to do a 90-day race. For me, I'd, I'd rather get a 90-day race done and be done with it and then maintain that for the rest of my life than to keep grinding it out day in, day out and hoping for this result. It does not need to be so. So the critical few versus the trivial many. And then uh, I, I want to say this. There's a four-step plan, and you have the 90-day race book. It is in your textbooks under entrepreneurship, the curriculum online, myrollincollege.com. Go to the entrepreneur School of Entrepreneurship curriculum. Under week one, month one, week one, right there it is. You're able to, uh, to download the entire book and read it again. And it has all of these lessons in there. And the four-step plan of plan, do, review, adjust. Plan, do, review, adjust. Plan, do, review, adjust. You, you create your plan for that week. You, uh, you do it. At the end, of, you're reviewing what worked, what didn't work. Was this actually the best two to three things that I should be focused on? And you adjust going from there on and for the second week and the third week. And you're constantly plan, do, review, adjust. Plan, do, review, adjust. Constantly doing that. Okay. That's what's going to get you down the road and get you to where you want to be. I want to say that your calendar and your spending will tell me if you're really doing a 90 day race or not. The key is to make sure that your calendar reflects your focus. Make sure your calendar reflects your focus. Most entrepreneurs are too distracted to succeed. They're too distracted to succeed. Okay. Or you didn't choose the right two to three critical few. And the way that you know is just ask yourself the question, does this generate revenue? If the answer is yes, then do it. If it does not, then don't do it. But they, these, my friends want to go out to eat on Friday night. Does it generate revenue? Then do it. If it does not generate revenue, do not do it. Well, but there's a soccer game, a football game on Saturday morning, and my friend's kids are playing in it. In a 90-day race, friend, does it generate revenue? Do it. If it does not, don't do it. If you're going there to network and to sell, go. If you're going there to just hang out and have a good time, don't go. That's the kind of focus I'm talking about. It is brutal. But you will say at the end, I'm glad I did, or I wish I had. The time will come when you will say, I'm glad I did, or I wish I had done the 90-day race. Friends, one of the greatest lessons I ever learned was to dig your well before you're thirsty. Dig your well before you're thirsty. Pay the price now. And write this down. This is something I always told myself. I will do today what other men won't. So I can do tomorrow what other men can't. I may be going and riding my horse up through the woods this afternoon, today, this evening, on trails and enjoying it. I have been on the ocean on a boat in the middle of the day, of a work day, a business day. I have spent many a business day on a golf course enjoying the beautiful weather. There are many times my wife likes to go out for lunch. And then we might need to stop by the store afterwards. We don't get back till two or three o'clock in the afternoon. You know why that's possible? Because I don't have a job that tells me I can leave at noon and I have 30 minutes for lunch. Because once upon a time, I did a 90 day race. I will do today what other men won't. They're not willing to pay the price like I did. I will do today what other men won't. So I can do tomorrow what other men can't. I'm telling you, friend, it's worth it. It's worth it. 
You're going to be tired. You're going to work hard. You're going to get discouraged. But let me tell you, we sell our 90-day race. I think it's 4,997 USD. If you go to 90dayrace.com, 90dayrace.com, I think it's 4,997. Rolling college students get it for free. You have it right now when you go to myrollingcollege.com and click on the School of Entrepreneurship curriculum and you scroll down and it says bonus. We have month one through month six and it says bonus, 90 day race. When you click on that, you'll see the 90 day race. It takes you to the full program. We have a 110 page workbook for you to follow through your 90 day race. I have 15 videos, one video that you're supposed to watch each week. You do not work ahead. That is dangerous. Do not work ahead. Watch one video each week and do the workbook for that week. Uh, and then there's three weeks for the post race uh, because there's very specific things that you'll need to do. It's the secret to massive results. You can accomplish more in 90 days than you can with a lifetime of grinding it out in pain with a 90 day race. So thank you. I trust that this will be a great blessing and a help to you in life, business, marriage, relationships, children, all of the above. And uh, we're grateful to you.